Today I'm going to address something that stops a lot of people from vlogging. How do you become less shy about talking to a camera, especially in public? There aren't enough people around right now, so let's head to downtown Chicago where there are a lot more people. headed into work a little bit later than usual today so there aren't as many people but there are some people around I want to talk about how I got over talking to the camera so I've been vlogging for about a year and I definitely had a hard time talking to the camera when I first started out when you're talking to your camera people are gonna look at you because you're talking and people wonder are you talking to me what are you doing after a while what you figure out is no one actually really cares what's happening as long as you're not being rude or in the way no one's gonna care the trick to this is not ignoring how other people might feel about you or what they might think the trick to talking to a camera in public is still understanding what people might think and taking that into consideration but also realizing that it's okay for you to be a little bit embarrassed as long as you're not making things worse for people around you the key to mastering being able to talk to a camera in public is a balance of consideration and humility consideration for others and how other people might feel if everyone else around you is being quiet like if you're on public transportation not a great idea to really be talking loudly and projecting to a camera if you're kind of in public on sidewalks that kind of thing then I don't think it matters and you just kind of have to swallow your pride and stick out a little bit it'll be fine what you find out is no one really cares and if someone does care they usually will not tell you the only people I've had talk to me about uh, holding a camera on a stick out in front of me have been people who were interested in whether or not I was a vlogger and trying to find out where they could see my videos. People are actually not upset <laughs> if you do it. You don't have to worry about getting in trouble or anything like that. You just have to swallow your pride a bit from uh, from looking a little bit silly holding a, holding a fuzzy microphone on a stick. I guess my last big piece of encouragement for you if you're still really struggling to talk to your camera is you never regret getting the shot, even if it is embarrassing at the moment but you always regret if you're mumbling or you're holding the camera too close because you're nervous and you want to be able to talk quietly. Those shots end up really standing out. I know it's hard at first, and it was hard for me for a long time, but you get used to it and eventually you don't even notice it. On the being considerate end, I uh, have another point I want to bring up. It's being considerate of the people you're with that you're also filming. After a while, you might get really comfortable with uh, filming yourself in public, but your friend or your significant other, your wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, they're not comfortable the same way you are if they're not vlogging all the time. I learned this in Nashville when I was trying to record Meredith. She got so angry at me because people were walking the other direction and I got my camera out instead of waiting until the people had passed. So that's something I think is really important is to still have that awareness of other people being around that you're not, you're not numb to it. You're just choosing to be okay humiliating yourself. So that's why it's really important to remember you're humiliating the people you're filming as well if you're with friends. So just try to be really considerate in those kinds of instances. Another thing in terms of consideration I wanted to bring up is don't ambush people with the camera. Just because you're filming doesn't mean other people want to be filmed. So especially if you're going to be talking to someone, asking them questions, do not be that jerk that just runs up, shoves a camera in their face and asks people for a reaction like, how do you feel about that? What do you think? It's a really, really bad look. Don't do it so rude and inconsiderate. I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but especially if you don't know that person, don't shove a camera in someone's face. Another thing I've learned is if you set up the camera and you're kind of away from people a little bit, that helps you feel a little more bold, a little bit less like you're on display. So you can try that if you're having a hard time walking and talking in the middle of people. In terms of final encouragement for being able to talk to the camera on your own, it's okay to look stupid for a moment because that video will last longer than the moment of embarrassment for you. And you're gonna be able to use that clip in a bigger video where you're kind of telling an overall story. It's gonna be worth it for just that kind of short-term embarrassment for you to actually get the shot. 
So just get out the camera. Don't be afraid to get stared at or that kind of thing. You're looking at the camera anyways, you're not really gonna notice. And again, it does get easier with time, so just get the shot, do it, talk to the camera, it's gonna be fine. Sorry about this kind of long, rambling, walking, talking shot, but it's kind of to prove a point that you can do it, that it's not that bad. No one has hit me, no one's come up and yelled at me, no one's stared at me, and if they have, I didn't really notice, so you're gonna be fine. You don't have anything to worry about if you wanna walk and talk to your camera. People are pretty used to it at this point, with Snapchat and Instagram stories and stuff. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You don't need to be shy. Just go outside, make videos. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one.